right? So I feel that if we can try and focus on the mindset shift, not only based on trading, but on everything else that is happening, then maybe we can be able to get better results in our trading as well, eventually. Because we know what we have to do. We know, we know, we have an understanding of fundamentals. We've seen the difference that fundamentals make. But if we're not getting the results, then what is really missing? You know? So this is where this concept comes into play. So there's this concept that I apply, not apply, but I just uh, recently discovered this year, essentially, and I've been applying it into my life. So essentially, it's a be, do, have concept. So what does it mean? So essentially, if you don't like the output, you need to change the input. So by output, output, if we're talking about trading, the output could be about trading results. You want your trading to be better. You want to get better results. You want to execute more trades. That's an output. Whatever output, output is anything that you'd like to have, right? That is the output. So if you're not happy about the output, you need to change the input. So that is essentially the framework of it. It's, 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 it's a scientific formula of, 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 of fixing something if you're not happy with it. So if you're not happy with your trading, which is the output or the results, then you need to change the input. So working hard on trying to get the output won't really give you the results that you want. I'm not sure if I'm making sense. You are, you are, my king. Yeah. So, so if we work, so so I'll, I'll reference trading, but it's it's in general in life. So if we if we work hard on getting the results of trading or the output that we want uh, from trading, and we just focus on working hard, then we won't achieve that because, in essence, you can't have something by trying to have something. <laughs> you need to change what produces that something for you to have that something. So that is just what I needed to outline so you can understand where this starts from. So essentially, now what we need to stick to or understand, that is the fundamental premise is that we need to change the output. Sorry, we need to change the input so that we can get the output that we desire. So that is where it takes me to this, what I have here, which is B do have. So B do have essentially, it is talking about, so having, is the output, right? So by having, it can be anything. Maybe you wanna have more money. You wanna have uh, a better relationship with someone. You wanna have um, a better trading results if we're, if we're referring to trading. But anything in life that you want to have, there is a what? There is an output. So, but all we mostly focus on what? On the output only. We only focus on what we wanna have in life. Uh, whether it's, it's having a better job or getting a better job and all of that. That is what we focus on the most. Even when we're setting goals, most of us, we set goals by that. It's okay, this is what I want to achieve in 2020 or I wanted to achieve in 2023. Uh, Even going into 2024, people who will be setting my, my New Year's resolutions, they're focusing on the output. They're focusing on the having. That is what they pay attention to. That is how they structure their goals, right? Which this is what I want to have. There's nothing wrong with that. But then the problem comes at the fact that of what I've just said, that if you make the mistake of working harder at trying to have something, you fail at having it, which is why most people don't achieve their goals. It was same. It, 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 it's the same for me. I guess it's the same for everyone. But once I started tweaking these things, it helped a lot. So we need to understand that to change the output, we need to change the input, right? So if we are to change the input, sorry, if we are to, okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, Shomlu. 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 Sure, sure. So, so, so you'll catch up along the way, but essentially I just got started with this whole concept. So I'm, I'm not yet talking about trading. I'm just trying to break down in mindsets that we need to have, right? So just in summary, I was talking about the fact that 
if you don't like an output, you need to change the input. If you don't like your trading results, you need to change the input. Not that you need to try and work harder at getting those trading results that you have or that you want, right, or aspire to have. And then when I came to this concept on the side here, which is be, do, have, what I was talking about was essentially saying that we all want to have something. We all want to have a better, better relationships, a good life, uh, more money and all of that. Even with trading, we want to have good trading results, right? We, we want to have profitable trades. Those are all outputs. So how do we get those outputs? We need to change inputs. So that is where I was before you stepped into the meeting. But essentially where I was going with this is that you need to understand that for you to get the desired output, you need to work on the input. So how do we then apply this into our lives? We apply this into our lives by understanding that being is the output of doing. Doing is the output of having. So what we, yeah. so what we do in life, we focus on having. And we fail on doing what? on understanding that if we want to change the output, we need to change the input. So if we understand that the having or the property, whatever it is, whether it's having a new car, it is the output, we don't need to focus on having. If we change the, yeah. in, if we change the input that produce, sorry, if we change the input of having, then we should at some point get whatever it is that you want to have or that we desire to have. So we need to understand that the input of having is doing. So by doing, you need to do certain actions and which is where, which is where the whole concept of I'm a to-do list and all of those things come into place because you need to do certain actions because if you do those certain actions in the right way or you do those correct actions, you will eventually have that because it's a scientific formula it's the law of cause and effect if i change the input then the output should change so if i change what i do then i should eventually get a different output which will whatever that output may be that i desire am i making sense yeah yeah sure so now yeah. Yeah. so now what i need to understand at this point is that doing is not enough and that is what we all we all focus on we all focus on doing the action. What do I need to do? What is the morning routine that I need uh, for me to be able to act, to be a trader? Uh, what time do you, wake, do you wake up? What time do you go to sleep? You know, I'm focusing on the actions, the doing, essentially. I'm trying to replicate your doings or your actions so that I can try and achieve whatever outcome that I'm trying to achieve, whether it be in life or anything. Now that the issue comes at the fact that doing is also an output. So in as much as we can do the actions, but doing is also an output. And then and the and the and the out and, and, and the input of doing is being. So you need to be more so you can do more and you can have more. So if you only focus on having something, then you will struggle doing the correct things that you that you have to do. But if you focus on doing this, the, the correct, or if you focus on doing the correct things that you need to do so you can have whatever outcome you have, you have a higher chance of achieving it. But Nakona, you won't be consistent in doing the actions. Why? Because you have not owned the identity. So that is, where, that is why I said we are being transformed by renewing, renewing our mind. By renewing our mind, I mean changing your identity. By changing identity, it doesn't mean that you, you are being someone you are not. But what it means is that for you to be able to consistently do what you need to do so you can achieve what you want to achieve, you need to own the identity. Because you cannot consistently perform in a way that is not in line or that is not consistent with your identity, which is why if, if you try and go to gym, you cannot go to gym consistently because that is not part of your identity. Yes, it's something you want to have. I want to have a good body or I want to lose weight. So I do the action, which is going to gym, which I know is my to-do list. But then after two months or three months, I'm failing to go consistently. Why? Because I have not owned the identity. 
I have not owned the the identity of being a person who is able to do the 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 the, the task or the activity that will lead to me having the output that I want to have. Am I making sense? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So if I'm if I'm if I'm lost or I'm confusing in any points, just just let me know. So where am I going with this? I am going with this to the fact that we need to understand that all of this is essential in us achieving the transformation that we want. So even in our trading, we from 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 you guys uh, being taught by me, you've learned from uh, technicals, from technicals to to uh, sorry, from technicals to fundamentals. And in all that process, I've taught you everything that I know when it comes to fundamental. I've shown you how to do it. I am doing it. It's working for me. But if it is working for me, why isn't it working for you? If I am teaching you exactly the same things that I'm doing or that I'm using and how I am approaching the market. So that is why I, I wanted to introduce this because I'm going back to being the person. It's not only about doing the thing. You also need to be the person for whom can con for who who can consistently do the thing, and for whom that thing can work, because they have owned that identity, right? So, to understand this further, identity sorry being like I said, it speaks to the identity, right? So being speaks to identity, doing speaks to like I said activity, right? And then having speaks to uh what name can we use um property yeah let's say property because it can be whatever it is a new house a new car whatever it, whatever you want to achieve right so we need to understand these things so what's okay identity is the input of activity but activity is also the input of property so yes if i can do the thing but I will fail to do the thing consistently for me to eventually achieve the property that I want to achieve. Or even if I'm able to do the thing, I can only do the thing for a couple of days and then I will forget about it and then go back to my old ways, which is why even with, with, with if we specifically go to trading, it's difficult, I'm not say it's difficult, but it's, 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 it's a bit hard to stick to something that you know that works for you. You keep on going back to your old what to your old ways that you use how you used to approach the market and how you used to think. Why? Because you have not owned that identity of the person who now thinks this way, of a person who now says, "I trade only using fundamentals. I do not pay attention to EE technical for direction purpose or for guidance purpose in terms of direction, but I only use what fundamentals to do that." If you have not owned that identity. You will know that fundamentals work. Someone will show you that fundamentals work. They will show you the results of your fundamental, but you will not be able to apply it you yourself consistently in a way that will get you the same results or a similar result. Am I making sense? 100%. Yeah. Yes. So, sure, sure, sure. so in, the, in that being said, so if... What we need to understand right now is that for us to move to the next level, whether it's because we because we we we're referencing a trading here, to move to the next level of our trading, we need to understand certain things. So we need to focus more on the identity, which is the input of everything else, essentially. But also you need to understand that right now, whatever you are doing, whatever I am doing, right. I am doing 100% of everything that I can do based on the person that I am. So I am doing 100% of everything that I can do based on the person that I am. If there's anything that I'm failing to do, the only reason I'm failing to do that it is because it is above the person who I am, or is or the, it is beyond the person who I am at this point. So for me to be able to do more in terms of activity, I need to increase my identity or to be more. 
I, this this for me guys i don't know if I, if you're getting it the way I'm, I'm i'm trying to explain it but for me this is what changed everything because it showed me that i can try and do things but i will not be sufficient at doing them consistently or sticking to them why because they are outside of who i am they are outside of who i identify myself as being if I identify myself as being a certain person, then doing the activity should be easy because me identifying myself is the output or is the input of the activity. If I call, if, 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 shift your mindset shift your identity it doesn't mean you need to change your whole life but if you want a certain outcome or you want to have something shift your identity first so that it can be easy for you to do the right things that will produce that result it's easy for me quoting fundama articles it's easy for me to read ama, ama central bank statements it's easy for me to do that on a daily basis because that is who I identify myself as being. It will be difficult for someone else because they do not identify themselves as being that person. Are you still following? Yeah. Uh, yep. So now the thing is, okay, Sanel, you've said all of this. Now, how do we try and, and, and achieve this or put this into action? So we put this into action by saying oh, sorry about that. So we put this into action by focusing on the identity. So how do you maximize on your identity? How do you improve the identity? You improve the identity by being intentional. You need to be intentional in whatever you do. What is being intentional? Being intentional is giving attention to things that move you in the direction. You focus on the intention and you ignore the distraction. That is how you maximize your identity. Because you know what this thing won't lead me because this input won't lead me to what? To me being able to perform the activity that will eventually give me whatever that I want to have. So we maximize the identity here too by being intentional. Intentional about me reading articles when it comes to trading. Intentional about me doing my technical analysis every single morning or every single night. Me being intentional about uh, being up to date or what are, the, what, are, what are the central banks doing. Me being intentional about, you don't have to know everything, but me being intentional is, is something as simple as if you are not a man, interest, because I, I want to be a trader. I want to do this at a higher level. If Usanele Mbuzuuti, unemployment, I say US 18, I should be able to give that answer. That's a basic thing. But I'm just trying to show you what I mean by intentionality. That is how you become intentional as a person and own that identity. Then, and only then, when you own that identity, you'll be able to do the activity. Right? So when you when you, when it comes to doing the activity, you do the activity by by how how can I put it? Yeah, it's called iterations or in, ingenuity. But how you do it is you you do, then you try a different approach until uh, until you find an approach that actually works. So I'll take I'll use myself an, as an example when it comes to this. Me getting to this position that I'm at when it comes to trading. It was all about me what doing and trying a different approach. I, I did things before that weren't working. That was what? That was ingenuity. That was me doing certain iterations or alterations in my activity. But I had to be intentional about that, which is why after five years of not being as consistent as I wanted to be, I had not given up on trading. I still, every single day, worked hard at approaching trading, trying to learn, trying to understand, and trying to improve in my trading. I was intentional about that. 
And then I kept on doing things and finding ways that would work and finding ways that wouldn't work. And I'd stick to all the ways that would work. And then eventually, I don't wanna, I don't want to say I ran out, but I eventually, to a certain extent, ran out of ways that were not working in my pursuit of trading. And then I stumbled across a way which works, which is fundamental. But if I was not intentional about it from the get-go, which, okay, I want to identify, I identify myself as this person, I wouldn't have lasted when I, I was still discovering all the ways that weren't working as effectively. You know, so that is what that is why I'm using myself as an example. So when I came across e fundamental and I saw the power it have, it has, I continued being intentional on it. I was like, okay, this is what now, this is now what I will be intentional on. I am a fundamental trader. I trade using fundamentals because I've seen the results I got from it compared to the results I've, I've received or I've gotten before from me trading. Am I making sense? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. So so in that in that in that case, what I'm trying to say here is that for us to make the most important thing is maximizing intentionality. Yet. If we maximize on our intentionality, then everything else should take care of itself. If we, if, we, if we not only focus on doing the thing, but being the person who can do the thing, then it will be easier for us to do the thing. And then eventually we can have that thing. When we'll have that thing, that you cannot guarantee. But if you follow the sequence, then it will help you. It will be easier for you. It's easier for you to do it because you are intentional about it. If you are intentional about it, that is when you see those opportunities. That is when you always prepared for it. You do things every single day that make every working waking hour of your life easier or simpler because you are intentional about it. Yeah, but so that's that that's it. that's in essence what I wanted to I to 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 highlight. Woody. I've taught you guys most of the things, and uh, let me say everything that I know when it comes to any fundamental. But I'll be honest: the only reason why our results are varying, yes, I may understand it more than you, but the only reason it is because Mina, I am intentional about it. And I'm not saying you need to leave everything else that you're doing in your life. No, this, like I said, this applies to everything in your life, which is why if you progress and win, it is because you are intentional about progressing. Guleon. So everything you do, you're doing it with that what with that intention in mind. So now we're trading. If you want fundamentals to work for you, be intentional about them. I share I'm, I share I'm articles at Groupin. It's a there's a reason why I do that. I am being intentional about it. I am not saying you should also be that way and start sharing my articles, but you should read my articles. Not only do they keep you up to date with what is happening, they keep you prepared. Because when opportunities present themselves, you are prepared. Because whenever opportunities present themselves and you are not prepared, that is when you will not view them as opportunities. You will just see when it risk to pay instead of executing yeah but so that is what i wanted to highlight guys so when it comes to achieving what we want to achieve with our trading specifically with the fundamental because fundamental who can say no i say bends no why Ukona, any 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 one of you guys who can say no, I'm not yet convinced multi fundamental is a better approach. Are you still here, guys? Yeah, yeah, it's corner. I don't think corner would disagree on my view. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, I just wanted to hear that. Okay. So that is what I'm trying to say, guys. With moving forward, yes, we're gonna do more of our videos. We'll do more of our Zoom sessions. But guys, it will be it will be pointless or it won't serve you 
as well as it should if you are also not intentional about it. You are not intentional about taking the information that you learn from, from when it, whatever we'll be doing moving forward and applying it. If you're not sure, asking questions about it, not waiting until Guzegube is cut as tea, but just also being intentional about executing, understanding this, improving your trading, because you know you can see that it works. It works for me. So chances are it will work for you. Because it's not only working for me, but it's working because I what I apply certain principles in an intentional way. I own the identity of Umundu who, who trades with them fundamental and who's profitable trading with fundamentals. And that is what you also have to do. Because that will do moving forward, it will be a repetition of everything that I've told you. Maybe I'm but I'm just trying to be, put you on that mindset. There is nothing new that I will tell you. Or there is maybe life-changing to what I've told you before. I will still repeat the very same things. As in you one time, but me, that is me trying to tell you, just take that information, be intentional about it, and use it and apply it into your life. Be intentional about it, and you'll be able to do the activity that you need to do. And then from doing the activity that you need to do, you'll be able to have the, the results that you want to have. Congratulations at some point when Jen and Kulman had one Zoom, Zoom session. Eshugun now, sege shale ebuge ama press conference after my FOMC meetings. All of those things. But they make a huge difference because you always clued up. You're always in the know of what is happening. You get me? So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. Before we start the whole process of AMA weekly updates, uh, weekly recaps, it will be pointless if we are not, if you are not intentional about it. I'm intentional about it. But if you are not intentional about it, I'll just be repeating the very same information to you and it won't really make much of a difference. Unless you choose to be the person for who it can work for. So you need to own that identity. And then it will be easier for everything else to work for you. Is everything clear, guys? Do you have any questions? No, that's 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 crystal, uh, uh my king. And and thank you very much for that because uh yeah, you are on point there, and Nami, I've always suspected uh, that the problem is is, is me because uh, as much as I I can't say that I I understand uh, or remember everything that you said, but I've got a clue of what is going on, and I, I keep reading and I keep I keep watching the the, the videos that uh, keep me up to date. Mm. But then, yeah, you are on point there. The, the, the challenge or the problem with the problem is 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 is, is the trader is me thanks yeah no final yeah yeah no congratulations yeah and no no it's not that the problem i don't wanna i don't wanna use the the word problem but i just wanna use the word that identity so it's not a problem because it's something that can be worked on but it's an identity shift that you just need to have when it comes to your trading and how you approach it yeah. and how you do certain things. Mm -hmm. So let's not view it as a problem, but let's just oh. view it as an identity. Mm -hmm. I need to adopt this identity so these things can work for me. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, I mean, you can't say you understand or remember everything, but right now, whatever you are doing is 100% of what you can do or is everything that you can do based on the person you are when it comes to trading. Correct. Yeah. So for us, it's just increasing that capacity of 100% way to, what's okay, let me be more of a person when it comes to trading. It's not a mistake or a problem, but let me be more so that I can be able to do more 